Hi there, my name is Nina Gradia, and today I want to talk about adrenal fatigue and trauma bonding. This is something I just kind of put together this week. I, I'm not even sure if this is out there um, already, but it's an idea I had, and I wanted to share it with you all to see what you thought, to see if it resonates with anybody. But we talk about in the context of toxic relationships, um, trauma bonding, where we are, you know, in a bond that's unhealthy with somebody else and, you know, find ourselves, we continue to go back to it and we don't know why. And I was just thinking about how, when we are in a bond with somebody who's toxic, how, you know, it can be very draining to the person. And when it's chronically so, that can cause symptoms of adrenal fatigue. So your adrenal glands, which are responsible for the fight or flight response in the body, um, and they get depleted over time. And then we're in this situation where we feel afraid. So a fight or flight response, and they try to pump out just a little bit more epinephrine and cortisol, and we might get a little bit of a high. And it can be depleting over time because soon after we're gonna get a crash. But if we don't realize that the issue is that my body is exhausted and I need to take care of myself. And especially with adrenal fatigue, that means resting and doing nothing for quite some time as much as possible so that you can heal up again. If we don't realize that, we can easily think that the object on the outside of us is the one that's giving us the, the feeling high, the feeling good. And um, it can be tempting to go back to somebody that's unhealthy for us because in that moment we feel alive because we just need a little bit of that, that hit. And then afterwards we feel a withdrawal from them and the adrenal, you know, the adrenals are um, going even lower because for example, when you drink something like caffeine, it's, you're borrowing from tomorrow from your adrenals, right? So you get an artificial energy for today, but you're gonna pay for it the next day. It's the same thing when you go back to a toxic person, your adrenals are experiencing this and so once we realize like, hey, this could be physiological as well, could be psychological, it could be this reminds me of prior experiences that feel familiar, but a very practical way that we could start to handle a situation like this is self-care and noticing, wait a minute, if this is something adrenals, like something I can point to, what do you do to heal the adrenals? I have a video on that, I'll post it here. Um, but it, it just has a few tips. It's not comprehensive, but there are many other things, but a lot of it is to start noticing where do I expend my energy in ways that are not serving me? If I'm expending all my energies towards this other person and then hoping to get this, this high in return, um, this is not a sustainable um, way of life. This is going to deplete me in the end. Can I start conserving my energy and start to heal up? Because with adrenal fatigue, it takes it takes three years usually to get back to normal. It doesn't mean you'll feel horrible the whole three years. You'll start to get better slowly, but it takes a lot of resting and reflection on my own relationship with myself. Where is all this energy going? Is it going in productive ways that serve me or is it being wasted? It takes a lot of this reflection and it takes a lot of commitment and dedication towards yourself to be able to heal this because it takes so long, the three years you might not notice the difference for a week or two to say, oh yeah, I guess I'm feeling 2% better, 5% better. So it's really a commitment towards yourself. And then slowly you can start to notice that you're feeling better and better and you're not gonna be as tempted by things that give you a little high because you're gonna start to feel a more normal energy level within yourself. And so when we have a little bit of empowerment, knowing like, hey, it could be this, and these are the concrete steps I can do for self-care, um, this can help us get out of these abusive cycles because um, you know, knowledge is power. And if I don't have a concrete way that I can you know, take care of myself or love myself, um, then I might just only try to do it intellectually or theoretically or you know, take myself out for a nice walk but maybe I feel exhausted after this walk. And I think, well, I was trying to self-love, but, but we have to know what the issue is. So um, there are many symptoms of adrenal fatigue. You can look them up online, but I'm just curious if any of you feel a resonation with this um, where it's like, oh, I, I never realized. So yeah, like when I was in that exhaustive um, relationship, that toxic relationship, my body was exhausted. 
Like I felt like, you know, either I got exhausted after I met this person and it started the cycle, but then I couldn't get out of it or I was already in an exhausted place. And then I met this person and it felt like a little bit of a high and I felt like I was escaping the exhaustion, but it's an addictive cycle. So please let me know your thoughts and um, I'll see you in the next video.